Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have with us Greg Johnson. Greg is CEO of Prophecy Platinum. Prophecy Platinum can be traded as NKL on the venture, and it also can be traded as PNIKF on the OTCQX. Thanks, Greg, for being here with us today. It's great to be back. Greg, you just announced, Prophecy Platinum just announced that you completed a $5.9 million equity financing. That's pretty exciting because in light of today's tough financing market to, to be financed in this market is, is pretty exciting. Yeah, we're really pleased. We think it, it really shows uh, strong support uh, from our existing shareholders and new investors you know, in the caliber of the company's assets, particularly the Wellgreen project in the Yukon. Uh, and to come in at a 12% premium to you know the market and to the the 10 day volume uh, weighted average is is really an accomplishment uh, in in today's market. So we're we're very pleased with the funds that uh, we've raised. This is going to allow us to complete the next phase of exploration and development work at the Well Green project, and it's also going to allow us to undertake our studies to look at the potential for restart of our Shakespeare mine in the Sudbury Mining District. Greg, let's talk a little bit about you've you've come on as the CEO of Prophecy Platinum over the the past six months, and we've been in a tough resource space. Talk to us about the significance of your projects and this resource space, and the, the significance of this news of uh, de-risking the, the financing. Well, there's no question that there are a number of factors that investors need to look at with with any company in terms of. Uh, the probability of being able to to see you know um, increased value down the road because you know that, that's why we're undertaking an investment in the first place is that we we believe uh, I think first of all uh, the metals themselves I think the fundamentals underlying platinum and palladium market are probably the strongest in the uh, precious metal space uh, the fact that we've been seeing uh, rising demand all the way back 30 years uh, to the to the early 80s on a year-on-year -year basis uh, pretty much um, is really a strong underpinning for you know why we're seeing uh, the metal prices for the PGMs hold in there when you combine that with the fact that for platinum and palladium in particular uh, we've seen a fall in supply since 2006 and 2004 um, it really underpins that we've got rising demand and falling supply, which we believe is likely to result in higher prices. And equities, as, as you know, often try to lead that uh, direction in terms of you know, where prices might go. What's been interesting, Jeb, is that the, the market has been, a, it's been a very difficult period. It's been one of the stronger corrections we've seen in the sector really since the 30-year low back in 1999 and 2001. Um, and you know, this has brought valuations on many of these companies down to their 2008 levels and on a relative basis has actually made the sector cheaper when you look at the values of the mining companies uh, to the metal. It's at the lowest position that's been even lower than 2008 since 2001. And I actually think this market feels, you know, as someone who's been in the market, uh, both for the major mining companies as well as for smaller startup companies, um, for the last 25 years, this market feels a lot like the 2001 market. Uh, you know, why do I say that? There's a number of factors that we didn't see in 2008 that we did see in 99 and 2001. For instance, the major mining companies pulling back on exploration expenditures, uh, decreasing budgets, laying people off, pulling back on development projects, shelving projects. All of these factors, though, in, in one sense, they're a bit negative are all going to re, you know, result in decreased future supply in a sector that still is seeing you know, year on year increase in overall demand uh, for the products. And so in the mining sector, because we have such a, a significant lag in the ability to bring new production to market because it takes so long to explore, engineer, permit, construct and, and actually ultimately bring a mine on or even to expand an existing mine, um, you know, this is really a setup that should lengthen this super cycle for commodities and is really an excellent
excellent opportunity for uh, smaller stage companies, earlier stage, smaller scale companies that are developing high quality assets because with those major mining companies effectively not spending their own money on exploration and development, uh, they're going to need down the road, and who knows you know, at what point that could show up, but it could be sooner than many people think, they're going to need to start looking at acquisitions to be able to fuel uh, and replace their reserves that they're mining out and depleting, and if any of them want to continue to grow. So I think long term, though it's been painful, two and a half years of consolidation, uh, this will ultimately lead to higher values down the road, and I think it could actually lead to uh, significantly expanded merger and acquisition uh, activity in the sector. Greg, you spoke about those high-quality uh, junior assets. Prophecy Platinum owns 100% owns the Wellgreen property and the Shakespeare property in Ontario. Talk to us about where those two properties fit in as platinum group metal deposits in, in North America? Yeah, w one of the factors that's been leading to this declining supply of platinum and palladium globally is the fact that production today is so concentrated in southern Africa and Russia, and particularly southern Africa has seen uh, you know, intense uh, pressure uh, culturally, cost-wise, uh, and just uh, because of the mining uh, methodology, uh, is it makes it very difficult for them to mine uh, platinum and palladium profitably. It's very deep mines, very narrow horizons, very high costs. Uh, because of that, there are very few projects uh, outside of Southern Africa and Russia that are in development, uh, and so there's just such a scarcity factor that we believe that high-quality projects in safe jurisdictions like Canada are going to be sought after uh, by the producers uh, that need to, to find new deposits, particularly deposits outside of, of those high political risk areas. So projects like Wellgreen in the Yukon and the Shakespeare project, though it's a bit smaller in scale, are going to be the kinds of projects that people are going to turn to when they're looking for exposure to PGMs and they don't want to take on that level of political risk. Greg, as we conclude... Let's talk about Prophecy Platinum over the next two to three months. Yeah, it's a, with this financing um, uh, put in place, it basically uh, has the company funded to be able to undertake the next level of work on its projects. And these, these, these activities should result in a significant update uh, on our economics, uh, on our engineering, and on our resource uh, in the first half of next year. So over the next couple of months, uh, we've already kicked off our field activities out at Wellgreen. Our studies are underway at Shakespeare. Uh, and so we should have a series of news releases um, that are going to be taking a look at uh, the drilling, the updated metallurgical optimization work that we have underway. Uh, and so shareholders should anticipate that we're going to be taking the proceeds from this financing and putting them into value-adding activities and as we advance the project, as I mentioned earlier, with the scarcity of high-quality advanced stage projects uh, in the PGM space, I think this is not only going to attract interest from investors, but I anticipate that we may see significant interest uh, from strategic uh, parties, whether they be other mining companies or groups who need the end uh, product of the PGM metals or smelting groups uh, that are looking to feed their, their smelters. Uh, and this is, could be an excellent opportunity for the company to be able to raise larger amounts of money down the road with parties who really need to see future supply of, of platinum group metals. Well, Greg, thanks so much for joining us today and for giving us an update on Prophecy Platinum. Really appreciate it and look forward to uh, giving you a future update as well.